Never again, he said, after swimming the Atlantic Ocean in 1998. But 51-year-old Ben Lecomte will be spending eight hours a day for the next six months swimming the Pacific Ocean. I think I like the, uh, to push the limit, my personal limit, and try to, uh, to find what, what that is, and also to respect the environment. A sailboat carrying food, supplies, and research gear will follow him. His journey from Japan to California will take him through the Pacific Garbage Patch, an area three times the size of France where plastic pollution accumulates and threatens wildlife. When I was a little and I was with my father walking on the beach, I didn't see any plastic or very hardly. And now every time I go with my kids, we see plastic everywhere. So it made me think, well, all that happened in just 30, 40 years, so how it's going to be in the, in the future? What is it going to be for my kids? LeCompte will collect samples for researchers to study how plastic pollution affects life in the ocean and on land. Data for dozens of experiments will be gathered along the way, studying radiation from Fukushima, ocean chemistry and biology, and the effects of this extreme crossing on the swimmer's body and mind. My body is just in autopilot, and everything that happened to my body, pain or uh, uh, being cold and all that, I try to put it aside, I try to uh, re I try to think about my body just being a vehicle for me to do things. A human vehicle burning 8,000 calories a day with nothing but a wetsuit and goggles between him and the boundless Pacific. Steve Barragona, VOA News.